making this video to demonstrate a problem that I have recently started to experience with my iPod plus Nike Nano Sport Kit. You can see I've got my Nano and my Sport Kit. It's plugged in. I've just got it hooked up into iTunes and a few of the runs that I've done. I will disconnect that. And show you what's going on after using this for a couple weeks with a lot of success and enjoyment. It stopped working yesterday and you'll be able to see on the screen here that there is currently no iPod plus Nano, Nike, excuse me, uh, selection. It's because I just did a restore on the Nano and when I plug in my receiver you can, see, you can see the screen here nothing comes up that should show the Nike Plus iPod on the menu now what I've discovered after a lot of work including an unsuccessful trip to the Apple Store was that by applying a considerable amount of pressure to the base of the Nano, right about where it plugs in. Watch on the screen. Now we've got the Nike Plus iPod selection. So let's hold this down and you'll be able to see it here. The screen's too bright, but I'm selecting a workout, a basic workout, choosing no songs, and I'm still holding that button down, or the, uh, the bottom of the the nano real tight and let me move the the unit here okay now it thinks that uh, I've got a workout starting so let me press the center button to begin it and I think you can see in the reflection that I'm simulating a jog by shaking the res or the transmitter part of the nano and I'm getting a slight reading here um, I'm really squeezing this thing hard you can see my thumbs turning purple and it's not registering very well the time shows at the bottom that it's continuing to move but the pace looks like there's nothing happening and I'm here I'm still moving this thing shaking it around okay let me put some more pressure on here I've looked at the uh, the connectors on the sensor and on the standard iPod uh, dock cable and there's it seems that the um, the pins on the Nike unit are a lot fewer I don't know much about how to connect computer devices to computers so I don't know if it makes a difference but what I do believe is that the connectors on the sensor for the Nike Sport Kit aren't built as robustly. When I was at the Apple Store, I tried every combination of my uh, Nano with their demo Nike Plus iPod units, uh, my Nike Plus iPod unit with their Nano, uh, and vice versa, and it showed that the uh, my unit on my uh, my nano well that doesn't work it does work on their nano second generation and their unit on mine did not work the uh, the nano here even though I'm squeezing it as hard as I can it now says no activity workout paused believes that it hasn't been getting a signal um, it's an example of how this mysteriously has stopped making a strong enough connection 
I haven't changed anything on my iPod. I haven't used it uh, or abused it. So I'm I'm very surprised by this and disappointed. And the solution that the Apple Store gave me uh, was that it's out of warranty and I'll have to buy a new one, which is a real shame because they don't come cheap. I'll try some more to uh, press this as hard as I can and move the transmitter in the background here. And I don't think that it is making the connection any longer. This has been difficult to show and I have spent much too long trying to figure out why the $30 Nike kit doesn't work and it's too bad because while it was working I enjoyed it quite a bit. So this is my request to Apple and to Nike to check to see if they are making these units as well as they can be or perhaps they're causing some problems uh, with the connectors on the nanos. I've seen that other people have gone through three units, possibly even more already and had theirs replaced and I recommend that you attempt the same thing just to see if maybe your problems are being caused by something similar.